Like, I, I almost kind of wish that he would have just stuck it out, you know, and really felt out the choice so that he had a chance to adjust it. Because <laughs> it's not like he was playing it bad. <laughs> he was even saying off stream, it was like small things that he just wasn't realizing, like uh, Kunimitsu weight. Uh, in size that was causing him to drop a lot of things that he just, you know, couldn't adapt to fast enough. <laughs> exactly, how, that's exactly what I was saying. Like I said, you, you, you have to play it in tournament. It's the same way you will see, you know, it could be grand finals at a major and someone will play a secondary in their winner side set because, you know, it's a perfect chance to get that kind of high level, high pressure experience in. And then, you know, if you get the reset, it's like, all right, now, nah, you know, maybe I should take it a little more seriously. <laughs> High sounds like a man that likes his mashed potatoes before the chicken. We're going to get into this Caps and Black Havoc. <laughs> and here we go with some more uh, third string, just as we was talking about. See, hi, I haven't seen that. Hi, show me some high-level Noctis. For, for the moment where I was thinking that I was going to play a little bit of uh, Tekken 7, uh, I looked at a lot of Eliza and Noctis because, you know, I'm a big Final Fantasy nerd, so that was definitely my ish. Uh, Eliza just seems like a cool character to me. But, you know, every time I get close to, you know, want to uh, pick that controller up, somebody's like, don't do it. <laughs> I feel like uh, Caps is putting a lot of knowledge checks into the situation. Trying to see how Havoc is going to react to it. And uh, I'm going to say that Havoc is reacting well. This might end up being a throwaway match if he's not careful. Well, I know you feel that way, Kuma, but you also got to keep in mind uh, Caps has a lot of legacy experience, and in Tekken, that goes a long way um, because it's now placed on the Havoc to the show whether he knows um, whether he knows the matchup, whether he knows the cheeky little things, and whether he can adapt to it fast enough. Ooh, that was a mistake. Welcome back to Imagine Theaters, folks. Hope you got your popcorn. Get yourself nice and comfy. I've actually always loved Leo in this game, too. Just, uh, don't have the kind of time in my life to dedicate to a Tekken, but I love to see it. <laughs> look, look, the cops being real cheeky. But once again, like I was talking, it's all knowledge checks. I'm going to keep doing it as long as you get hit by it. Show me that you can do something about it. Yep. I kind of wish, uh, LBZ, when, when can we get some of the wager things going on in the Twitch? Because I think that's the kind of thing we need. What, what you mean? Uh, I'll say you see a lot of people channels now where before a match starts, uh, the chatters can like put a bet in on who they think is going to win. I think I got to be like partnered or sub. See, what I did recently, because I like the factor I can stream on two channels and media upload. Oh, okay. I took away my sub button. So I wanted to prioritize giving you guys some matches as fast as possible. Aw. Yeah, so that, that, yeah, that, I that's had a lot of subs anyway, so I was like, you know, I'll cut it. You know, I already get commission for what I do. Mm -hmm. It's not like I need the money, you know. That's some but, true love from LPZ. Yeah, but it is interesting. I'll, I'll have to look into it. I've been so behind, yeah. far behind when it comes to like stream tech. But if, if I'm saying if there's like a, even like if there's like an add-on or something that gives them. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to look it up. 
I just have been so behind on it, you know, ever since losing, you know, consistency. For I sure. Haven't been focused on it, but I mean, we still we still looking crispy though. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> So this isn't over yet, but it's looking good for Havoc. Tied us up. Ooh, it's wide. So some nice adjustments from Havoc uh, for people paying attention is that, you know, it's coming to that realization that if you don't know, you, you know, you avoid or you just play solid, right? So it's like, all right, I don't know what to do in some of these situations I was being put in. So rather than to challenge it and keep eating damage for it, just let it ride out and then just respond when I know it's good for me to do so. And that's a good way to face uh, matchups that you might not be so familiar with. So I don't know. Do we do we consider Julia uh, a second string? Because that like that was a former main, right? Is it like 1.5? What's going on, Drew? Welcome to good ass Detroit Tekken. Yes, there's a Detroit, Michigan Tekken. <laughs> there's Josie and there's others. Dig that. I'm gonna say, show me the lunge. See some of that young function. Mm -hmm. She had a hard time getting in, so we buffed these elbows so we make sure that she can get in and get some pressure. <laughs> nice little chuckle from Caps there. Feeling good about that, that first win. Ooh, this is going to hurt a little bit. Uh, Cap's not biting on the laydowns. Content to just keep getting in there and hitting the buttons. Ooh. Nice, nice clutch finish from Black Habit. Apologize, y'all. I'm not a tech in main. I'm not going to be able to give you the notations and frame data. Uh, you know, ho hopefully more to just impart into like some, you know, some mental thoughts about the match. <laughs> but I figure you guys are all tech and players. You know the frame data. You don't need me up here lying to you and making up stuff. No, no, don't, don't make that face. Show me. Ooh, I guess Havoc going to show me. Have it on the anti power up. <laughs> this is actually looking kind of scary. Hey, I think Havoc trying to win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 